All right, for a while now I've been wanting to uh, replicate an experiment and uh, I believe it's pronounced tensile koala. I hope I did that right. And it's a resonant tank circuit that he came up with to harvest um, garbage energy in the air. And um, I thought it was pretty cool what he built, so I, I did something similar. Uh, what it is, it's just a coil and a capacitor and uh, you can use a tunable inductor with a tunable capacitor like he did or you can find out what the cap value should be for what you're trying to receive and then make a tunable inductor like I did um, here to vary the frequency uh, resonance um, to capture the energy that's in the air and uh, the LED shows what's going on there if you've got enough uh, signal strength and he, I believe he used a signal generator and then he tuned the circuit using that formula um, to get the values to capture the energy that was in the air. Now what I'm doing here is this is my little, um, it's a Slayer exciter. I, when I did this I called it a mini Tesla coil and it uses the principles of a Tesla coil but it is not a true Tesla coil. It's a Slayer exciter. Um, I would go to G. Bluer's channel uh, Gary sells these right now and this is his design his circuit it's G Bloor I'll put a link in the description but uh, I've had uh, about half a million hits on this little device here and I don't give out the instructions and I don't email people and I don't say how it's built because it's not mine it was uh, designed and built by Gary Gary Bloor but uh, it's uh, one of these things that picks up the uh, energy in the field and this little device here will do it too and like I say this is a tank circuit and this uh, tank circuit will pick it up also and this is not a uh, Averminkle plug setup this is a tank circuit and you can see how I if I get this in certain spots it changes uh, and watch me as I move this inductor in and out this will go on and off depending on where I have the uh, ferrite rod in the coil. And this is a tank circuit. This is an LC tank circuit. And it's one of the more basic circuits that you learn when you're first learning electronics is a tank circuit. And the reason they call it a tank circuit is the energy basically sloshes back and forth between these two electrical elements here. And in theory, it would just keep sloshing, but there's losses so you have to put energy into the tank circuit to keep it moving back and forth. This LED just picks up the value across the parallel tank circuit. Now this can also be in series, but I'm showing here a um, parallel tank circuit. Here again, here's the formula for getting the values if you know the frequency of what you're trying to capture. <coughs> I don't, and <laughs> all of this was trial and error and I just wound up some uh, wire on a big pin that's all that is is a hollow big pin there's nothing in it no batteries or anything and it's just a uh, hollow big pin and then this is a, a ferrite core off of an inductor I got at Radio Shack a while back I don't think they sell them anymore it's a ferrite rod or steel or anything else won't work it has to be ferrite but that goes in the little tube and then you just vary this in and out until you hit the resonant frequency and that resonant frequency lights the bulb up. It's pretty cool. So anyway, that's uh, just something I wanted to share that uh, these uh, tank circuits are very, very interesting to study. You know, and these resonant circuits, which this is right here, this is a resonant circuit here. It's just not uh, like this one. This is different. Um, different scenario but uh, I got a big kick out of playing with this and I thank uh, Tinsel Koala for sharing it with everybody please go over to his channel and watch that video um, it's much more impressive than mine but uh, anyway thanks for watching and um, try one of these things out if you have a source that puts out this type of energy